Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's me, Captain Energy, and today I'm doing something for a subscriber named H.O. Matthews. H.O. contacted me because he was watching my Using Reason for Live production video that I'd done before and had some questions about, is there a way to make it so that I can jump from one sound to another quickly in Reason using MIDI? And I did some research, and I did a little bit of work here, and yes, there is a way to do that, and I'm going to show you how that works right now. If that kind of content, by the way, is useful to you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Throw me a comment down below and let me know if this was something that you're interested in or is something you're interested in, or if there's something else you're interested in so I can cover it in a later video. And don't forget, like I said, to subscribe because you could be the next person who I do a video specifically for. All right, so let's get into this. So here we are in Reason. I talked to Ajo and had him send me his uh, setup. This is his actual rig, what he uses at his church that he does. He's a keyboard player at. And um, right now it is set up as per usual, where if I play uh, any instrument, I can select it from this list here and I can change instruments that way. And that's very nice, but it's not super helpful in a live situation where you need to jump around from instrument to instrument pretty quickly and know what you're going to have. So let me show you what you can do here in Reason. All right. First of all, if you look at the top of Reason, if I scroll to the top of the rack, you'll see this hardware interface, which you've probably wondered what's this for, because most people don't even touch it anymore. But here's where we're going to look. I'm going to click this advanced MIDI button right here. And you'll see that now we have this little window here with 16 green boxes and one green box. The 16 green boxes actually represent 16 MIDI channels on an instrument, which theoretically you could map whatever you want to them. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to map these instruments. Since Ajo has nine different instruments here, I'm going to map them to channels. Each one will be on a different MIDI channel on this controller. Okay. So first put this drop down right here and you'll see a list of all the available devices. Be sure that when you map these, you are picking the actual instrument, not the mix channel. So I'm going to start here, the combinator, I'm going to pick in. Now you'll see that it lists all the different devices inside there, which is kind of nice if you want to actually hit on, you know, hit to them, control each one of those individually. But we're not trying to do that right now. We're just trying to get, get in there, get one right to the main input on it. Do this for each instrument. So I'm going to go to this one right here, pick that guy right there. Here's Ancient. Next one is this Europa. And now when this is done, what's going to actually happen here is we're going to have essentially a 16 instrument music bank or a 16 instrument virtual keyboard created essentially that you'll be able to control from a physical keyboard by changing the MIDI transfer channel or transmit channel on that keyboard. All right, it's going to be really kind of cool because doing this will allow you to, in a live situation, or even, like I said, in a production type situation, access 16 instruments, even at once in some, t in some cases. You could actually, on your keyboard, if your keyboard lets you do splits, you could actually split and put channel one on the first octave, channel two on the second two octaves, channel three on the, you know, the rest of the keyboard, whatever you want to do. So you could have like a drum kit, a bass, and a lead instrument on one uh, keyboard, or you could even layer things from your actual physical instrument uh, that are virtual instruments in Reason. So here we go. Now everything's mapped out there, but you'll notice when I play, you still hear the same instruments. The instruments still get selected the same way. Nothing's really changed here. What we've got to do next is we need to disable Reason from sending MIDI to these instruments by uh, the selecting of a, a row, the way we've been doing it in the past. Like right here, if I go right down here and click this row, that's great, but it's not what I want. What I want to happen is I want to be able to select these from my keyboard. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to go into Preferences. Preferences is under Edit on Windows or File on Mac. Go down to the bottom here, hit Preferences, and we're going to look at the MIDI. First, you'll know that you'll notice that you're uh, I have no devices set here, but if you go down here, you'll see that we have the inputs. Like right now, I'm using port 8 on my MIDI Express as my keyboard in. So if I turn this off, I know my keyboard is hooked up to that. 
nothing happens when it's off, right? So now I'm going to go leave that off. I'm going to go to this next tab, sync. And you've probably seen this tab and thought, what is this? I don't know. Well, what it is, in fact, if you look at the top here where we just were, you'll notice that there's an A, B, C, D right here, this, uh, this bus select. In the preferences menu, you'll, you'll see a bus A, B, C, D here also. I'm going to select from the first bus, because we're on bus A right now, I'm going to tell it to be or receive MIDI on the port 8 from my MIDI Express. Once I've done that, what's going to happen now is MIDI is now coming in on whatever channel my keyboard is set to. Right now it's set to channel 9. If we go to 8. And that's it. Now whatever channel I have my keyboard transmitting on, 1 through 9, is what instrument it's going to play. So you can see this little green light if you look up here. You'll see this little green light as I change the channel. Blink, blink, blink. See it right there going to channel 1 right now. We're on channel 1. It's channel 2. And there it is. That's how it works. And that's how you can use Reason in a live situation. So if you're using Reason at your church or your concert or whatever you're doing, you can use Reason, stack your instruments, set them up, and then control them by changing the MIDI channel on your keyboard. I hope that was helpful. If it was, definitely let me know in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Have an awesome day. Take care.